remember, remember, it's October. Yes. And we're in November. Yes. Yeah. So interesting month for me. Uh, uh, not loads. Interesting one, that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, I have something amazing. <laughs> Everyone knows I've mentioned her on the channel nine million times before. My buddy Danny found something amazing at a boot fair, which I just had to have. And coming from no tea, no crumpets, just games and other stuff, <laughs> is the official mask rug. <laughs> and this is the... Uh, and this God, is that's the, horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Smell. <laughs> is it really a kebab shop? It's weird, isn't it? It's that's a kebab shop smell. smell. Yeah, but smell. it's huge, it's white. It kind of does smell like cats have been weeing on it. Oh, it <laughs> probably cats have been living on it. But look, it's an, an official mask product. Um... But you know, Danny got this for me, so an awesome prize. And there's no way in hell I could display it anywhere in my house because my cats would have fun with this. <laughs> so this is something that's going to have to disappear up into the attic. Good. But it's yeah, horrible. <laughs> never to be seen ever again. But, you um, can make a like, cruel the little coat out of it. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. Get quite a few of them. Or yeah. we'll make a good cape. Yeah. The mask yeah. man cape. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I bought loads of mask vehicles. There's a picture mask. of this. Mass Crusaders, spending all my money, going skinned, going skinned, no, that was car bills. <laughs> but yeah, um... It's funny, it's like, if they are working out overtime, what rate do they get? What's that? Yeah, do they get double pay? And who pay them? Does Matt Tracker pay them, or does the government pay them? Yes. I imagine Matt Tracker's a billionaire. Do you actually know about the prequel comics that you got with them? We didn't get them in Europe, I thought we did, but we got them in America. I said we didn't get them. Yeah. yeah. And... Did you know Matt Tracker mm. and Miles Mayhem started working together? But do you know how they became enemies? Um, it actually, that, that was actually based on the DC series, which was like a four it's issue. Similar to how it started. Yeah. It is based. No, it is based yeah. on it. It's, yeah. it's actually the same artwork in it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Because basically, what happened is they were working together, and Matt's younger brother Andy was working overtime. <laughs> he wasn't. Over. He was basically mm. working in the house, and Miles went evil, and he burnt the house down. Mm. Matt escaped. Andrew didn't, and therefore they were enemies forever. I found this out three days ago. <laughs> so, mask, yeah. Other things I'm collecting, NECA figures. I bought two this month. I needed the two for Alien Isolation. I needed the other Amanda Ripley and the actual Alien. And the actual Andy. Uh, uh, alien? <laughs> Andy, <laughs> Andy, Andy the Alien. The Andy thing. The actual Alien is actually really cool. It's really good details in both of them. Uh, top notch. A few weeks back, I had a day out with... Me and my two daughters, my, me and my daughter and Troy and his two daughters went out game hunting. And what actually happened is we did the usual routine. We went to Folkestone and Canterbury. Now I didn't buy any games in Folkestone, but what I actually did, they were, did they were an offer of three for a pound. I got three lightsabers. <laughs> Basically, these three lightsabers are the lightsabers I need for my General Grievous. I needed one green one and two blue ones. I couldn't remember on the day, <laughs> but I got, bought the three and got lucky. So my General Grievous will now have lightsabers before he falls off the telly. <laughs> and then we went over to Alex's and um, didn't buy any games, but I did buy these retro gamers. Alex's and retro gamers. Yeah, sure surprise. surprise. Yeah. Um, a couple of things I bought back online, bought online, Mr... Mark Jowett, thank you, I need more of these. Um, as you know, I've been collecting retro gamers, I also like the official Sega Saturn magazine. I've got um, Which was good back then. one other one. And, yeah, so, um, this, my like, legs are on fire, I've put this on <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> rather warm. Um. And it's bringing back, I mean, I love the old Knight's art. Ah, take the glare away of the Knight's artwork. And the thing is, when these used to come out, um, I used to, this thing here, I was so excited about. This made my day, the Virgin was going to release X-Men vs. Street Fighter on the Saturn in the UK with the 4 meg RAM card, which of course they didn't. But this is basically, this issue I've got here was when it was coming sort of like near the end. Near the end, just about yeah, everything they featured didn't come out. Coming soon, Albert Odyssey as well. Yeah. <laughs> There's loads. Sega Touring Car, you know, I had so high hopes for that, but it was awful. And... Um, yeah, the thing is, I read these to death, mm. and it's really weird reading reviews, and they're still kind of in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this is the one where I, this was back then, I didn't really have that much, not that much money, didn't get many games to start yeah. off with this yeah. time, because we were waiting mm. for Mr. Fuckface to send mm. my Saturn back or send our games. Yeah. So I get like one game, what was on about one game a month? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Um, what I loved about the Saturn magazine is near the end of its life, mm. 
what it actually started doing near the end is it, it dedicated literally the last 15 pages or so to imports. Yeah. Which is where I first heard about Radiant Silvergum when I bought Radiant Silvergum back in the good day. Back in the good day, mate. Good day. <laughs> good day, mate. Good day. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's like Burning Rangers, Shining Force 3, mm. an RPG I've completed. <laughs> <laughs> and love, I absolutely love it. And uh, a highlight of Dead or Alive, simply the breast. Better than all the rest. Is that Red Earth? Yes, it was. Yeah. It was such a bizarre that. game. It's good. It's, it's good. I mean, game. you've got to get into it, but it's good. It's supposed to be like a one player game, not a two player one. Croc. Croc of shit. Yeah. So. Well, it's, it's going to beat Mario, won't it? Get mm. me, bugger. <laughs> Yes. Oh look, Mortal Kombat truly, you've got 88% in the official sound. Right? The thing is, Croc was actually decent. I mean, the thing is though, Croc was actually, wasn't supposed to beat Mario. It was supposed to be a Mario game. Yeah. It was supposed to be a Yoshi game, originally. Yeah. Um, and, and it was supposed to be the N64, and it was supposed to be a Yoshi game. Cheats. <laughs> Before you used to click on YouTube, what, uh, YouTube? Click on Google to get your game codes. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. When they had cheat codes, when they weren't mm. DLC. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mega Man X, Street Fighter Collection cheats to access Cammy in Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold, complete mm. difficulty level with M. Bison. I was looking at the X Men cheats in here. <laughs> um. uh, my favourite virtual fighter character, Sarah Bide. In Dead or Alive 5, Sarah and Tina were my team, and I yeah. absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, great fun. So, my actual final last pickup of the month is a predictable one. Yes. And after Nintendo having their way of making some awesome consoles, and then Sony completely mm. fucking up majorly. And SNK. And SNK. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I don't have to because I <laughs> yeah. wouldn't buy one of those pieces of shit in the month yeah. of Sundays. But so many people do. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, so many people do. But yes, yeah, so I had mine pre order like kind of like day one as soon as I available to pre order. Not opened it. Mm. Probably will never play it. it. Looks nice on the shelf. Mm. Uh, Amazing little console. Uh, what was it? The only thing they say is some of the sound in some of the games is slightly out of sync. But other than that, a solid. solid there is show. there was a slight amount of delay, isn't there? Yeah, on, on a solid, games. solid show. And I mean, we got a bit shafted with the free button pad in the UK, but you can get the retro bit six button pads, or you can actually buy the new Saturn six button retro bit pads with the uh, wireless ones. Yeah. That actually we, which are actually drive. better than yeah. the Mega Drive. Plug them into the Mega Drive. Use Saturn pads on a Mega Drive, and you know, I think. 65 quid these are hmm. and the actual the games the games you get on there, there are a lot there amazing. are a lot of games on there that mm. haven't been released yeah in the previous compilations yeah. and stuff yeah so. i mean first of all it's like the mm. first time mega mm. um monster world 4 gets a power release on the mega drive uh, yeah. english because we had yeah. it on the 360 vintage collection yeah. didn't we yeah and you've got Mega Man Wily Wars. Also on Virtual Console as well yeah it's a virtual console and the japanese version was on ps2 yeah so. Uh, Mega Man Wily Wars, which is mental expensive now, which is on my shelf, never in dust. Rainbow Rush 2, which is a fun enough game. I mean, that hasn't yeah. been. Yeah. I, I don't think that was on the EA PSP collection. I think the number one was. Darius isn't very good. They, they did like an exclusive Tetris for this as well. Mm. But in Japan, Sega did actually release an official Tetris, but they had, they had to mm. withdraw it. Yeah. And that apparently is really good. Mm. Crazy expensive, but really, really good. And this one on here apparently is just plain old Tetris. Yeah, yeah. But when you've got some really awesome games, Streets of Rage 2, my favourite Streets of Rage. Uh, Shinobi 3, uh, really cool. Alicia, uh, but there are games that have been cancelled. They've got a lot of ones that have been before. So a, lot of them, a lot of them it is just like the regular kind of suspects, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I've really got Ghouls and Ghosts. Mm. You know, so you've got Ghouls and Ghosts, which is... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so. And you've got Protective, of course. If you go in the options to change it to like a Japan or American... Mm. Contra. It becomes Contra. It becomes a proper non-robot mm. thing. But you want to play it, play it, change the Japanese version, because when it becomes Contra in the Japanese version, you get a life bar. So you get hit once and dying in the American version. I think you can get hit three yeah, times before yeah. you die. Because um, I've, I've loved the Contra games, but I'm <coughs> dreadful at them. They are. I am really dreadful at them. Me and Richard, back in the day, we actually, I don't, I'm not sure if we finished Pro Protector on the Snares, but we got close. The biggest problem that put me off Pro Protector on the Snares mm. was the top down sections. I didn't like those at all. Yeah. They were really horrible. Um, and Thunder Force 3, first time out in the UK? Yeah, yeah. The oh, one that I. The mm. one that I. Really, really, wasn't that lightning force? Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's but it was spelt lightning, yeah, not lightning, <laughs> lightning, lightning force. Yeah, yeah. So. and of course, they've taken out, I think, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles probably because it had Michael Jackson music, yeah. and someone else owns yeah. the property to that now, which yeah. is why no Michael Jackson videos are on YouTube anymore. Uh, 
Comic Zone, a game I've tried to get into. I've played like the demo version that you got on. Um, when you get into Rhinos, it, so it's stuck. really good. Yeah. When you get into it, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. It takes a while to get into it and get good enough to actually get far. Mm -hmm. But once you do, it's fucking brilliant, dude. Yeah. <coughs> Diamond Heady, great game. Earthworm Jim, a game that I didn't actually play till I got it on the 360 because it came out Earthworm Jim HD, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it had the add on levels. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Echo the Dolphin. That's so hard. Landstalker, I bloody hate that game. <coughs> I bought that under Duncan's recommendation and I really don't like that game. It's so fault, Duncan. It's so difficult to play. Yeah. The 3D isometric view and mm. having to jump on the 3D isometric plane. <sighs> it it starts playing Sonic fucking the, like Mario 3D world. The again, sequel isn't it? has yeah. the same problem, Dark Saviour. That has the same problem. Yeah. You just can't make the jumps, it's impossible. Um, the Last Crusade, that's supposed to be the, is it the Light Crusade? Light Crusade. Yeah, that's supposed to be quite good. No, it's Pooh. No. Yeah. The Fantasy Star Games, not the robot on this, which of course mm. is Pio Pio, and we've got Shining Force. I've never played none of the Shining Force games on the Mega Drive. Really good. You're really good. Sonic Spinfall. I don't mind it. I've never. Sonic Spinfall? Sonic Spinfall. I've played it for a little bit. Tell you, Mr. T. Sonic Spinfall! Yeah. Sonic Spinfall. <laughs> Give me my pinball ball. Well, I know. Give me my milk. Ain't getting on no bumper. <laughs> that is all. Uh, Strider, really solid Mega Drive version. Really cool. No, I choose like that. Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, Vector Man, I love Vector Man. I like um, Fantasy Sorry. Zone. Yeah. And Virtual Fighter 2. Why? Oh, yeah. I suppose you. you Virtual Fighter could, 2 yeah. keeps cropping up on these yeah. little collections and stuff. I think it's on like, every single collection. Yeah. For the... <laughs> Yeah. One thing I do want to get, which I've not seen yet, is that when they launched this in London, they actually released, the, in Japan and America, they released the Tower of Power, which of course is Mega CD, 32X, and then you've got a game cartridge to put in, stuff like that. But they came in like a uh, the, the American Genesis box and blah, blah, blah. But they've released it in England, and there's been none on eBay, so hurry up people, sell them to me, because I want the Tower of Power, so I can put it on top of it and never open. Okay, so I forgot a few bits, so I'll quickly squeeze them in here, but first of all, I've got to show off the awesome Shenmue 3 light shadowy thing my daughter bought the special edition on the playstation 4 and it's amazing absolutely amazing know about the game haven't played it yet but she played it to death out of the weekend i went into home bargains and i picked up a couple of star wars figures i love getting all the old um stormtroopers style ones because they're only like two quid and then i picked ray because ray was there and it was two quid I wanted yoda but i put it back for some stupid reason but anyway during the month of October, me and my daughters, we headed up to London and didn't actually buy any games or anything up there, but we was in um, Forbidden Planet and they had this awesome, awesome mug that I just had to have, and it's this Streets of Rage mug. Yeah, I mean, for a bit, when we go to London, like, say, uh, once a year, always pop into Forbidden Planet, because we got some really cool stuff. Didn't have a t-shirt that went with the mug, but I just had to have that mug at 5 99 But yeah, so cool and really cool. That is all from me in October. As you can see, I'm kind of like very going towards toys and masks, crusaders. And Christmas, he's supposed to be spending on Christmas, not mask, but it's not really working at the moment. So, yeah. uh, but the question is, what games is Tony buying? We shall see. You'll have to watch this episode. Mm. Take care, guys.